Hi friends, welcome to my series of space-themed science experiments, my specialty. In the last video, I taught you how to make space slime. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make a fizzy rocket. This explosive experiment is one of my all-time favorites, so get ready to launch in three, two, one. <laughs> experiment will teach us the science behind how a rocket launches to space, which is very similar to why a balloon does this. When you let your balloon go, you are witnessing Newton's third law. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The air rushes out one way and the balloon is pushed in the opposite direction. Now let's do the same thing with our fizzy rocket. For this experiment, you're going to need film canisters. I'll link the ones that I use in the comments because some work better than others. You'll need an Alka-Seltzer tablet, a little bit of water, and some safety glasses. Put your safety glasses on. Fill your film canister about one third of the way up with water. Now place one Alka-Seltzer tablet in your film canister, and as soon as you do this, put on the lid really securely and flip it over. So right now there are bubbles that are building and building and building in your film canister. That means the pressure is building and building and building in your film canister until the film canister can't take the pressure anymore and it... <laughs> oh my gosh, it explodes upwards. The air rushing downward forces the film canister upward because for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. When you add water to this, it bubbles because in this Alka-Seltzer tablet, there is baking soda, a base, and citric acid, an acid. This is the same stuff that's in lemon juice. And when you add those two together, you kickstart an acid-based chemical reaction that creates carbon dioxide bubbles. You can also encourage kids to experiment within the experiment. For example, what will happen when we add a bunch of water? If we fill it right to the top, will it go even higher? Let's find out. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh no! Oh boy. No, <laughs> it does not go higher, uh, but it is a lot messier. When you fill up your film canister mostly with water, there's less space at the top for those bubbles to build, that air to build, which means your rocket is launching with less propulsion, pushing it upward. Now let's see what happens if we just add a little bit of water. Just enough to cover the tablet. <laughs> My soul has left my body. So, if you just add a little bit of water, it creates a more powerful rocket. We can also experiment with temperature. I have hot water, lukewarm water, and cold water here. How will the temperature affect our fizzy rocket? Make your guesses. Hot water, and that is this thing. Okay, oh boy, here we go. I'm scared. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. This is gonna be hard, she can't do them all at once, but we're gonna try our best. Ready, set, go. One, oh my gosh, I'm scared. Two, oh no, I'm not moving fast enough. Three, here we go. Wow, wow, that one happened immediately. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Wow, these ones are taking much longer. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> wow, all oh, the cold ones taking forever. Okay, okay, I'm scared. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm scared. <laughs> Ooh. So, hot water, the molecules are moving much faster. That means the reaction is going to happen much faster. So the air is building faster, that pressure is building faster. That one's gonna shoot off first. Lukewarm is gonna take a little bit more time and cold, those molecules are moving a little bit slower. The reaction is happening a little bit slower. What that also means is that that has more time to build up the pressure for a little bit longer. So you're gonna have more air rushing downwards, which allows the rocket to go even higher. So if you wanna build the most powerful fizzy rocket, use cold water and just a little bit of water. That's going to give your fizzy rocket the most propulsion, air, to move downward so that your rocket <laughs> can go higher upward. Thank you so much for doing science with me today. As always, stay curious and keep exploring. I'll see you next time.
Wow! And <laughs> scared him, scared him, scared him, scared him. Holy macaroni!